Hey guys, and welcome back to another video on the Row Builder YouTube channel. We have a lot and a lot of requests to do a mushroom tutorial. Uh, I'm guessing y'all like the ones you saw in my asset pack, which is right here. I uh, also want to mention that I am selling this if you'd like to buy it. Uh, I will be reselling it though, so like they will not be inclusive to you. But if you would like to buy this asset pack, it's 8k Robux or 28 US dollars. Uh, yeah, but if you just want everything you see here on the screen, there's the price for it. But here's the mushrooms. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to build these right now. They're not too bad. E very easy, actually. So let me just open this up. Start out with this. I'm guessing you kind of know Blender by now, so I'm not gonna go super, super into detail. But we're gonna go into edit mode. Delete the cube. Shift A to add in a cylinder. We're gonna make the bottom probably about 10 vertices. Should be good for us. And we're going to scale all this down, go into face select mode. Perfect. We can press E to extrude. There we go. And if you want, you can press S, kind of scale this in, and then go to line select mode. Hold Alt, click on these lines. You can scale this in too. However you want it to be, you can make like a really cartoony mushroom, like a weird like out. I'll probably go in, and then um, this can as well go in a little bit. Just like that, there's the bottom of the mushroom, and then you just want to go back into object mode, shift A, and you want to put in an icosphere. Now we'll go back into edit mode, press Z, go to wireframe, nice, press 1, and then we will be on face select mode, and just press B, and kind of cover everything like that, and delete them. Don't delete by faces, I mean, don't delete by vertices, delete by faces, there we go. Now we can press Z again, go back to solid mode, press L to select all of this, and then we can just move it up. You can also use G if you don't want to grab it. So as you can see, we have a very basic shape of a mushroom now, and you might be wondering, bro, there's no bottom. So to fix that, you just hold Alt and click on Align. Make sure you're on Line Select Mode. Hold Alt, there you go, and then do, and then you just press F, and that fills in the whole bottom. You can also inset this by pressing I, and do something like that, and then pull it up a little bit make it just a bit more you know nice i guess and then what i like to do is while you're in object mode click on it shade smooth click on this shade smooth and that is how you make a mushroom if you want to know how to add the dots you would just do shift a spawn in another icosphere and then you just kind of mess around with how you scale it i'll do something like this and like this and then g to grab and i can move it how i want it and I will put this like over here and then you just like rotate it so it's at a nice spot so something like this and then you just kind of duplicate that now we will shade this smooth as well so it matches and then we would just be duplicating this and putting it all around the mushroom so something like that now what we're gonna do while we are in object mode is just click on all of these and join them together uh, you could definitely spend a lot more time as well. I, I didn't really put these like how I would personally have them. Like you would sink them in a bit more, you know, make them like flush with the top of it. But just to save time, I'm doing it kind of sloppy, but this is still how you do it. And then to texture things, uh, since I know that you guys like when I show you how to texture during the video, we're going to go ahead and do that. Go to the UV editing tab, open up your color grid. If you do not have a color grid, mine is 100% free in the discord, which is first link in the description. You want to go ahead and open up the color grid press a to go ahead and grab all of the stuff you want to color so this is the top of the mushroom we're going to press u and then project from view and then we're going to grab all of this and just scale it on this side of course and just scale it down and we can grab this we will make it orange still too big though so we're going to do this and there we go now we're going to go right over here to materials click new Go to base color, add an image texture, color grid, and then right here, we will just go to material preview. And as you can see, we have a mushroom now. Now this guy, uh, he, sh he should probably come up a little bit. There we go. So there's your mushroom, guys. And if you wanted to color the stem as well, uh, you could do like like a yellowish orange type of, type of thing. So maybe grab all of this and put it down. This is kind of a nice mushroom color but mostly white and then you just want to select base color image texture click on this color grid 
there you go. And here's your mushroom, guys. Hopefully this tutorial was helpful. I am trying to make them quickly, so I'm not taking up too much of your day. I want to get straight to the points. And, uh, yeah. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Alright, guys. So that is going to wrap up this tutorial on how to make a mushroom. Uh, of course, take your time placing these guys all around. And then if you want it to be one piece when you export it into studio, you just select everything and press Control J. Um, that messed up these because we don't have a texture on them. So to fix that, you'll just click on this click each of these guys go back to your uv editing tab project these from view and then we would just drag these to a white space like so and there we go it's fixed so hopefully you guys did enjoy make sure to like comment and subscribe have a great day later